Well, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us here for uh, Wine Wednesday Trivia. Today we have a very special uh, host with us. Um, before uh, I welcome her, I even put on a uh, sports coat uh, for our new esteemed guest. It's Jean Cox, uh, one of our instructors who lives in Florida and teaches level one and level two, but also is a Spanish wine scholar and French wine scholar. Jean, what a great uh, pleasure to have you uh, lead this uh, wine trivia for us today. What do you got? What do you got in store for us? Thanks, Christian. Well, I decided to um, do trivia from Spain. I nice. thought that would be really fun. And you know, of course, when I say Spain, I mean all of Spain. So there's so many things that we can dive into. So hopefully, I've been told that we have some very very smart participants, and then I should try get some questions that might be a little tougher. So. I'm hoping that they're not too tough, but we'll have some that might be a little challenging. Great. So before we get started, let me just uh, go over how it works uh, for anyone who's new, uh, who's joining us, and, and for all of you loyal fans from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Glad to, to see you. So many familiar names uh, pop up in the comment uh, field. So here's how it goes. Gene's going to ask a question. We're going to play Jeopardy countdown music, um, and you can lock in your answers. Uh, when that music stops, um, we will reveal, or actually we will, I will communicate to Jean what the majority of the answers uh, are, uh, uh, or guesses are from your point. And then Jean will reveal the correct uh, answer from there. Um, and the winner uh, of today um, gets bragging rights, obviously. Uh, I asked Jean to make uh, some tough questions, so hopefully there's some tough questions in there uh, as well, because as she said, we have so many smarty pants, uh, so many wine geeks uh, who join us regularly for this uh, trivia. So. Uh, I won't talk any longer. Let's uh, hand it on over to Jean and, and get started with the trivia. Okay, great. So my first question is, how many autonomous communities are there in Spain? And by autonomous communities, um, it's sort of set up like the United States. They have different areas that can self-govern themselves, um, staying within their constitutional laws, and they have their own capital. So how many autonomous communities are there in Spain? 10, 17, 25, or 32. Okay, starting off right right off the top with a tougher tougher question. So Jeopardy Music is going. Go ahead and lock in your uh, answers here. Okay, I see some, some guesses or answers being locked in. Okay. All right. So we have uh, people chiming in here. We have Sh uh, Sean saying 10, Mary Victoria saying 25, Patrick saying 32. Uh, and then we have a bunch of people saying uh, 17. So Jerry, Heather, uh, and, and Philip. So what's what's the answer, Jean? So the answer is 17. So, so not that hard. We have some people that really um, know a lot about Spain. So let's see what, what we have next. Okay. So the next question is, what is the most planted white grape in Spain and the fourth most planted grape in the world? Is it Macabeo, Vieira, Palomino, or Irene? Okay, the music's playing here, put in your your guesses. Okay, so a lot of different answers, but the majority of folks locking in D as their answer, I ran. And that is correct. So that is the um, most planted white grape in Spain and the fourth most planted grape in the world. All right, next. What, uh, which of these is a synonym for Tempranillo? Sensibel, Liston Negro, Tripat, or Calais? And there are nine synonyms for Tempranillo in Spain. We listed just one here.
Okay, so here again, several different answers, but the majority of folks locking in A, uh, Sensibel, as their choice. Well, they are correct, and we definitely have some smart people out there that are attending. So great, that's right, Sensibel. Nice work. So what is the training method where vines are braided as they grow to allow the vines to to be able to be moved to accommodate alternative crops? Is it Invaso, Esfaldera, Pergola, or Cordon Trenzado? So this one should be a little bit trickier for you folks. I'm hoping. <laughs> Okay, you can tell when there's a little bit of a harder question, the answers come in much slower. So they're coming in now. And we, I think we have um, uh, people choosing one, one of each. So why don't you go ahead and reveal what the correct answer is? So the answer is cordon transado. And you can see how interesting that is from that picture that we, that we have. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Amazing. So where are the only two DOs in the world located? Where are they located that use this method of cordon transado? Is it Catalonia, uh, Murcia, Valencia, or Canary Islands? music's playing and we're waiting for answers to come in. Um, this is a great quiz for anyone studying for the Spanish Wine Scholar. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of fun, uh, fun questions. Okay, so it looks like the majority of people locking in D, Canary Islands, as their uh, answers, but there are some um, answers for uh, A and B uh, and C as well. So the answer is the Canary Islands. Very good. All right. So other than the Canary Islands, what is another set of islands in Spain? Is it Balearic, Cook, Dalmatian, or Seychelles? I don't know about Eugene, but I could sure use an island vacation right around now. Me too. The pictures of the Canary Islands are very nice. Okay, so here we go. We have um, most of the people uh, answering A, Balearic Islands, as their answer. And that is that is correct. Wow. Well, I, I this one gets I... a DJ horn for... Uh, actually, that was a bicycle horn, so let's do a DJ <laughs> horn. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Maybe this one will be a little harder. What is the name of this soil and the holes that are shown in this picture? Is it La Pille and Hoyo, Gravel, or Mas Profundo, Albero, or En Maceto? Okay, so answers coming in here. We have uh, A's and B's being the predominant uh, answer uh, on, on this one. So about split 50-50. Okay, so the answer is La Pille and Hoyo. So this is on the Canary Islands and they, they 
This is all made up that these are uh, volcanic pebbles, is what the soil is. And they dig these um, holes that are approximately 10 feet in diameter and seven to eight feet deep. And they put the vines in them. And this protects them from the wind and also um, gathers the rain. There's very low rainfall here. So uh, obviously very hard to harvest, but uh, very interesting. It kind of looks like the moon to me. Yeah, it sure does. It looks like a, a desolate landscape. Yes. All right. So what is the special soil type found in Priorat and Monson? Is it Albariza, Calvermal, Eucaria, or Arenas? This may be an easy one. Okay, so um, the majority of answers here are C, uh, Licorella, as their, their answer. And they would be correct. So as we know, these are decomposed uh, shale and slate is what makes up this soil. Very important to these two uh, regions. All right, so what is the name of the traditional training method where the vines are planted in a chessboard-like pattern and spaced eight feet apart. Mm -hmm. Is it in Vaso, Marco Real, in Cabiza, or Costers? Okay, so a tougher one for folks. So far, only three answers uh, come in. Ah, now they're popping in. So uh, let's see, A and B is are the preferred answers. Um, I just love Marco Real. Uh, sounds like a Spanish actor. Um, <laughs> but go ahead and let us know, which what's the right answer? Well, you would have picked the right one. So it is Marco Real. So um, this was used in the, in the Sherry region. It, it's not used very much anymore, actually really, really rarely, because it's very hard with the mechanization to be able to harvest. So, um, but is it a, is a traditional uh, planting method? Hmm. All right, so what is the principal grape used for Sherry production? Godeo, Verdejo, Palomino Fino, or Bobal? Well, these are very appropriate questions because this this Saturday, actually February sixth, uh, we have a Sherry webinar with Ben Hawkins, who wrote a, a book on Sherry, and I'm sure you'll be covering some of these uh, items as well. Uh, it's a free webinar, so make sure and web, um, register on our website. You can find the link there. Love for you to join us uh, this Saturday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. Yes, that's very fun. So. We have here C's, everyone choosing C. Well, then they're all gonna attend the webinar, right? So yes. they can learn more. So I think that's the webinar, everything you wanna know, because that is correct, Palomino Fino. Excellent. It, what is the synonym for Palomino Fino? Is it Donna Blanca, Malvar, Liston Blanco, or Perdina? I don't know how you feel about Sherry, Jean, but absolutely adore Sherry and the diversity of styles. It's, it's, I think it's, I find it fascinating. I don't, I don't drink a whole lot of it, but I, I find it fascinating. I love, love to taste it. It's for those special times. Okay, slow answers to come in. Uh, here we have one B, four C's, and an A. Um, as uh, the answer. So it is Liston Blanco. So very good. 
All right, and, and still we're sticking with uh, sherry. So what is the uh, surface yeast called that pheno and manzanilla sherry undergo for biological aging? Is it flor, phloxera, enrama, cabeco? Okay, wine geek alert. Uh, we have everyone locking in A as their answer, floor. That, that, is, that is exactly right. And so now, definitely everybody needs to do the Sherry webinar because you're gonna learn so much more about Sherry. Excellent. All right, so um, what is the clear odorless sugar solution derived from grape must that is used in Sherry production to add sweetness without adding color, aroma, or flavors? So is it Saka, RCGM, or Sobre Tabla? Okay, here we have some diverging opinions. Um, we have some people answering B uh, initially, and then we had a slew of C's coming in. Uh, so what's the correct answer, Jean? Correct answer is RCGM, Rectified Concentrated Grape Must. Sounds delicious. Yes. Um, so what autonomous region is Dio uh, Jerez, Cherez, and Sherry in? La Rioja, Andalusia, Galatia, or La Mancha. Okay, so a lot of people locking in B here as their answer, Andalusia. And that is correct. So in the southern part of Spain, as, as we know. And then um, how long does the region have to spend as a DO, which is a denomination de origin, before applying to become a DOCA or a DOQ? So um, we're talking about the um, quality pyramid, right? So at the very top is the DOCA, and in Catalonia, it's DOQ, so it's a denomination de origin qualificada, or the de denomination de origin uh, qualif qualificada. Is that, how, is that yep. what it is, right? So is it five years, seven years, 10 years, or 15 years? So uh, a region must spend this amount of time as a DO before applying to become um, a DOC, A or a DOQ. Okay, so here we have some disagreement between C and D. We're at about equal votes here, um, with someone throwing in a B at, for good measure. <laughs> so the answer is 10 years. So 10 years. All right, what is the Dio Segalis known for? Sherry, Rosado, Vino Tostado, or Cava?
Okay, answers. I'll give you a couple more seconds here to lock in your answers. I just love C, vino tostado. Sounds like something you'd find on Taco Bell's menu. Um, but <laughs> most people here um, saying B, risotto as their answer. And that is correct, it's risotto. So I think about 66% of their production is risotto. All right, and what is the DO known for 100% vino dolce? Is it Malaga, Bierzo, Tierra, or Yekla? Okay, slower answers coming in here, um, but now they're rolling in, A being the dominant answer uh, so far. Okay, we ready? Yep. All right, so they are correct, Dio Malaga. Nice, beautiful area of Spain too. Yes, absolutely. So how many autonomous regions produce cava? One, three, five, or seven? I'm always amazed at the quality you can get in Cava for the price when you compare it to other sparkling wines of the world. It is just blows me away every time. I know, it's amazing, amazing. Okay, so far we have an answer uh, of everything, one, three, five, and seven. Um, so, uh, no, no agreement on what it is. All right, so the answer is seven. So actually, the autonomous regions are Catalonia, La Rioja, Valencia, Aragon, Navarra, Extremadura, and Pais Vasco. Mm -hmm. Seven regions. All right, so what are the three main grapes for cava? So uh, are they Peralada, Macabeo, Chirello, Verdejo, Donna Blanca, Macabeo, or Albarino, Carolada, and Corbu Blanc. Okay, here again, smart group, all choosing A as their answer. And that would be correct. Um, we just have a smart group, I guess. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right, who started Vega Sicilia in 1864? Was it Don Eloy Lacanda y Chavez, uh, Luciano Marietta, Don Manuel Quintano, or Alejandro Fernandez? I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a little bit tougher one for I, I hope so. for Team Napa Valley Wine Academy. Okay, much slower answers coming in here. So far we have three answers, one C and two Ds. Um, let's see if we can get a couple of more answers in here. Okay, so we have someone saying A, uh, where well, the majority of folks have voted for C at this point. Okay, so it is actually A, Don Eloy Lacanda y Chavez. And a lot of times you will see his name just written Eloy Lacanda. So okay. uh, I get a little score for that. You do, and yeah, you, you stump people. <laughs> so, uh, almost everybody. So what is Fondion? Is it a great variety? A sweet wine made from overripe monastrell? A vine training method? Or a cool westerly wind?
Okay, so we have people voting here. Uh, B so far, three answers or three votes for B, four votes for B. Sweet wine from Overripe Monastrell. And that's exactly what it is. So out of Valencia um, and the Dio Alicante. All right. What do they call orange wines in Catalonia? Um, La Naranja, Brissats, Rosado, Vino de Macabeo. Okay, so here so far, uh, choices are, or, or answers that have been locked in so far are A and D. Okay, so the answer is Brissats. And so they make this wine from uh, Maccabe Maccabeo, which is also called Maccabu. And the, the, so that's a white grape variety, and it is vinified with the stems, and that's what gives the wine the orange hue to it. So I got that, that one I, I, I Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> so what is, and I think this is my last uh, question. So what is pie franco? Is it a specialty dessert in Madrid, ungrafted grapevines, a pruning method, or a soil type? So first of all, before I reveal what everyone has voted, I love the name Pi Franco. I mean, it sounds like it sounds like it should be A, but everyone yeah. here is voting B as their answer. Wow, they are so smart. <laughs> that is amazing. So it is indeed it is indeed B, huh? Yes. Excellent. Are we ready? Yep. So that oh. oh, you have do you have another question or is that was that your that, last one? That is it. So okay. it is on great vines. So that's the last of my questions. Boy, I, I, I think you just have to really dig deep and get some really hard uh, questions for this group. Yeah. So like I've, I've threatened before, we would put together uh, like the Mensa edition of wine trivia. So that is that is okay. definitely coming. Um, Jean, thanks so much for putting these questions together. Um, sounds like we have a lot of people knowledgeable about uh, about Spain, which is great. So many wonderful wines coming out of Spain. Uh, and so much more to know. So just as a reminder, don't forget to join us for our free webinar on Sherry with author Ben uh, Hawking, uh, Hawkins. Um, he wrote a book uh, called Sherry for Academy Devan Library. Uh, and that free webinar is available. Uh, you need to pre-register for it, um, but it'll be this Saturday at um, the 6th, February 6th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we'd love to have you join us for that. In the meantime, we'll be back next week with a study hall, uh, which Catherine Bouguet will uh, lead. So we'll have another study hall uh, subject. And then the following week, of course, we'll be back with wine trivia. So Jean, in the meantime, thank you so much for hosting today. Everyone, thanks for joining us from all over. Uh, stay safe and drink well, and we'll see you here um, next Wednesday. Thank you. Bye-bye.